Well, as you learned from uh, Jeff, when he, the first person to speak, this coming January 1st would have been the 40th anniversary of uh, our meeting, first meeting with Tom up in the wilds of uh, northern Vermont on the Canadian border, where not only did he get uh, Bima's brother-in-law across the border, but a whole lot of people who decided that they didn't want to have anything to do with the draft for the Vietnam War went across that very crossing. There was a trail that Tom knew very well <laughs> that would get you eventually to a road that would take you into Montreal. So a lot of folks made it out that way. Social justice was something that Tom lived for all of his life. You know, he was six years older than me. I didn't get to be a freedom rider. I didn't get to stand with him as he did on the steps of the Atomic Energy Commission uh, to demand an end to above ground nuclear testing where he was arrested arm in arm with Linus Pauling and Allen Ginsberg. And we've heard that story a million times, but maybe there's some of you out there who don't know it, who need to hear it. And uh, his commitment to uh, social justice is something that occurred that was part of the musical lexicon of the time. And for Tom, America had one poet laureate, and that was Bob Dylan, <laughs> not Allen Ginsberg, not uh, whoever else might have been labeled poet laureate of, the, uh, of America, but Bob Dylan. He, he told the stories that defined the times. So part of what I want to do right now is celebrate uh, that particular aspect of Tom's life. And also, Tom liked the way I did Dylan. He said, boy, nobody else does the harmonica thing. <laughs> so that's part of my shtick with Dylan. Speaking of shtick, I need to finish Steve's story about Malcolm X. Because <laughs> that was one that I got from Tom many, many times. And perhaps you've all heard it too. When Malcolm X came to speak at CCNY, and as near as Timmy and I can figure out, the question that prompt, uh, and, and here's another aspect of Tom's life. Tom, like me, was a Catholic boy who grew up in a heavily Jewish community, right? So we sort of, our value system and our affinity was very much drawn to the Jewish community. I was just telling Steve that I can't remember the Hail Mary, but I know Baruch Torah Adonai Anoheinu like nobody's <laughs> business, because I went to more bar mitzvahs than I did to confirmations or any other kind of uh, Catholic thing. So we shared that particular aspect. So it was both ironic and fitting that at that uh, speech of Malcolm's, at that uh, CCNY appearance, uh, Tom, I believe the question that he asked was, Mr. X, um, since you feel the term Negro or the term black is something offensive and not appropriate, uh, what do you think of the term African American? To which Malcolm, for some reason, immediately responded, that's the trouble with you Jews. You're always trying to control the narrative. And Steve Summerstein leapt up and said, Mr. X, this is Tom Kelly. Kelly, a writer for the student newspaper, to which Malcolm, without missing a beat, said, Kelly Berg, Kelly Steen, if he goes to CCNY, he's a Jew. So, so Tom had honorary Jewish status conferred on him by nothing other than Malcolm X. So, Spirit of the day's events. This is this is a Dylan tune, and I think uh, an appropriate tune for a memorial. So, uh, and I would really appreciate it if I could get some help out there from everybody uh, on the chorus. It's not a real well-known Dylan tune. In fact, most people don't know Dylan's version. They've heard maybe a Joan Baez or another version of it, but it's. Uh, I think it says it all because it's, uh, Tom had an incredible journey, lived an incredible life, and shouldered a fairly heavy burden. And if nothing else now, he gets to lay that down and move on to something different. We don't know what, something new is awaiting all of us at some point, so. 
it. So the chorus, if you could help me on it, goes like this. Lay down your weary tune, lay down, lay down the song you strum, and rest yourself neath the strength of strings. No voice can hope to hum. So if you could uh, give me a hand there, it would be greatly appreciated. Yeah, here's so. the other guitar. Um, we get some volume on the other guitar, or maybe mic position would do the trick. Is that it? Okay, let's see what we got now. There it is. So the lyrics, lay down your weary tune, lay down, lay down the song you strum, and rest yourself neath the strength of strings, no voice can hope to hum. Lay down your weary tune, lay down, lay down the song you strum, and rest yourself neath the strength of strings, no voice can hope to hum, struck by the sound before the sun we knew the night had gone the morning breeze like a bugle blew against the drums of dawn lay down your weary tune lay down lay down the song Drum, and rest yourself neath the strength of strings. No voice can hope to hum the ocean wild like an organ play. The seaweed woven strands, the morning breeze like a cymbal crashed against the rocks and sands lay down your weary tune lay down lay down the song you strum and rest yourself neath the strength of strings no voice can hope to hum the stood unwound beneath the skies and clouds unbound by laws. The crying rain like a cymbal sang and asked for no applause lay down your weary tune lay down lay down the song you strum and rest yourself neath the strength of strings no voice can hold 